A local woman fought back tears today as she described the death of her daughter. The 22 year old died because she couldn't afford life saving insulin. Her younger sister suffers from the same disease. Their mother is now taking the fight to Congress. Here's Dwayne Pullman. And Ms. Worsham is a working mother, listen up, whose daughter died. Powerful words from the chair of the U.S. House Oversight and Reform Committee introducing Antoinette Worsham, the Cincinnati mother whose 22-year-old daughter Antavia died when she rationed her insulin. Antavia was diagnosed um, at the age of 16 and only lived six years with this disease due to the high cost of insulin. Antoinette was central to our investigation in November on the skyrocketing price of insulin. Her 18-year-old daughter, Antonique, is diabetic too and will soon face the same struggles as her older sister. I fear the same is going to happen to her in two years. Today, this mother addressed the nation, talking about both daughters and calling on Congress to act. I'm crying out and asking Congress to review the pharmaceutical drug price gouging. Members of the committee did express support for reining in the costs. The ongoing escalation of prices by drug companies is simply unsustainable. This is a matter literally of life and death, and we have a duty to act now. A duty driven home by a courageous mother who went to Washington with a simple plea. I know there's rules and there's regulations and there's policies, but we want to save more lives. It can be done. And you are the people to make it happen. It's unclear whether Congress can come up with a real plan to stop the soaring increases, but committee members do say there is bipartisan support to end out of control prices that have already cost too many lives. I'm Dwayne Pullman, Local 12 News.